Could I have a glass of water, please? Of course. Here you go. <laughs> what the hell is this? Your water. I said a glass of water. And what did you bring me? A cup of water. That's right. I did bring a cup. Yeah! You're under arrest for assault and battery. Snitches get stitches. You have the right to shut your face. Anything you say is ammunition that will kill you. But it looks like you've got bigger fish to fry. I'm allergic to fish. I mean that, assault with a deadly weapon. I just saw you plant that. You can't prove anything. I'm actually literally recording this whole thing. What? Are you... Are you seriously recording in vertical mode? And now I get to add arson to the charges. Leave our son out of this. Well, we don't have a son. You just said that... Our son. Exactly. Not our son, arson. So not arson, our son, but our other son? We have no son. So what do you keep alluding to as having sons? That's, that's, that's kind of messed up. I said our son. It is physically impossible for us to have a son. Ew, are you talking about sex? Sex is gross and disgusting and smells like a swimming pool in a bad way. What's your problem? He is a sex offender. And the battery? Let's just say you're the only one charged today. So, he's dead? Yeah, pretty much. Sir, sir, <clears throat> sir, your glass of water, sir. Just, just so you know, this could have gone a lot differently. <laughs> it's cool to fantasize and daydream as long as you keep your feet firmly planted in reality. Daydreaming can open up your mind and lead you to fun and even amazing discoveries about yourself and the world around you. But if you let it, it can eat up your reality and affect you negatively in the way you approach life and other people. Love you little case, remember to subscribe if you haven't had me on Facebook, Twitter, all that business is downstairs. But now I gotta go accept my 23rd Oscar. I better not forget to thank my half Italian, half Swedish wife this time. See you later, crocodile.